Yes, yes, yes. Right, guys, it's ten past five, so I apologise. My train is due in about seven minutes. So I'm going up to London today to run a uh, high-performance mastermind for my Elite Man program, which is kind of like my small group program. There's no more than ten guys in there. I work with these guys one-on-one, -on -one, so um, probably leading my life story in that. But I'm just running, that's why I'm running this Rise to Thrive early, because I'm going to end up being on uh, a train. So, let's get into this. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. If you are coming through and watching back, please do hit the thumb up, it's the love heart button, and comment that you're watching back. Um, and please share with someone that needs it. So this is going to be a quick fire one today, this morning. And I think it's really relevant because I am seeing this over and over and over again. And it is stopping people from progressing. It is stopping people from growing. It's stopping people from living the lives that they want to live. And that is, they are misplacing their priorities. Misplacing their priorities. And work is very, very, very quickly becoming a real prominent figure in people's lives. We've all got to work. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't work. But as soon as you are finished, people are carrying work around with them. They're working extra, working overload, working to deadlines. We've all got to do that. We've all got to put the grind in and the shift in and we've all got to go over the top, right? But at what cost? At what cost does it have to do that? How can we find priority? How can we find time for ourselves in and amongst everything that's going on? And it is important that you start looking at these priorities because families are being neglected, wives are being neglected, husbands are being neglected, kids are being like neglected, not like properly neglected, but they're not getting the connection that they want with you. And this is where it really comes down to like, dude, you live, you live fucking once, right? You live once. Or do that. You live once. But we're consuming ourselves in that work and you're stripping you of time away from uh, your health, your relationships, your personal development. People don't register with us or come through our process. Oh, I'm too busy with work. Like, so we don't end up crumbling. If they went through a system that they could learn to manage their time better, learn their energy better learn to focus better, have barriers in place, have routines, structures and systems, it would change the game for them. So I really wanted to come on this morning. I completely forgot to tell you guys that obviously I was going to be on the train and it was meant to be no show this morning, but I wanted to leave something for you. And it's something to think about over the weekend. And that is, I want you to think about what your top three priorities are, what they really are from the bottom of your heart, your soul, in life. What do you want them to be? What do you want those top three priorities to be? Versus what they are at the minute. So where's your time, your energy and your focus taking you right at the minute? Okay, and compare the two and ask yourself, okay, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? How are you gonna live your life? For the next year, between now and Christmas, what's gonna change for you to make sure that you become the priority again? Because in and amongst all of the chaos, we're forgetting you. You are forgetting you as the priority. And because you're forgetting you, you're becoming even more stressed. You're feeling the pressure even more. You're living more of a life of chaos. You're getting even more frustrated. You're getting even more anxious. And it's almost a pandemic. And if you think about the pandemic, when we closed down for work and the world closed down, when you think about it now, your lifestyle was probably better than ever because you remember how close you were to your family. You remember how much family meant to you. And the priorities were probably more about family and the lifestyle and stuff. But now that we've been out of that for a year and a half or so, it's almost that like we've forgotten all of those values and those principles and those things that matter. Because we're consumed with work. And by the way, guys, I want to really re-emphasise the fact that nail work. You have to work. So when you go to work, you nail it, you kill it, you own it. But then work, when work's done, it's then about you. Before work, barriers, learning to switch off, learning to transition from, from work to personal, making sure you take care of your health, mentally, emotionally, and physically. So that's the thought for the weekend. Think about your priorities. What do you want your top three to be versus what are they? 
right now. All right, guys, my train's coming in. I will catch up with you really soon. Monday, we're back, 5.30 in the morning. I'll see you then.